Hello there and welcome to the midweek shave, to the Wednesday shave. How's the week going? Are you in good health? Um, I hope so. Uh, before I forget, there will be a, a video coming up tomorrow morning, um, Thursday, at 7am, precisely British time. Um, and it's a video, uh, a guide to beginners. It's a beginner's guide to wet shaving. Um, it's only my own thoughts and advice. Um, so don't feel, uh, if you're a shaver, you have to watch it. It's there to help um, beginners, as I say. Uh, but if you do want to watch it, then I hope you enjoy it. It's a very simple video, um, made not to overwhelm, hopefully. I've made it simple as I can. Um, but anyway, hopefully it'll be uh, uh, of help to anyone who uh, needs it. Before we start the shave, excited about this shave. And I'm excited about them. So let's take a close up of Mrs. H is Flowers. So there we go, there's the flowers. Sorry, did I hit you then? Oh, the light, hit the light. Um, snake bite. No, I haven't been bitten yet. Um, looking forward to this. I have not bloomed the soap. Now, it's a fantastic texture on this. It's like um, fiberglass. Uh, I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It looks like a bit of a fiberglass finish on it. It's amazing. Oh, the smell is strong. Vicks. <laughs> um, right, brush is soaking. That's the only thing I have soaked. And I'm using the Ever Ready uh, horse hair. And I'm going to give the the Merca, the Merca 39C, the slant. Uh, give that an out in today. And inside there is an Astra Superior Platinum or green as they're known, a brand new blade, so non-adjustable, very slight overhang to be aware of, good grip, spiral, sort of a barber pole grip, a nice razor. So, here we go, and I'm using just, I've plonked it inside the um, Captain's Choice, I forgot the name of it then, um, shave ball. It is moving about for his eyes. It's okay. One hand. It won't go far. It won't go far. So I've not bloomed it, but it nearly came out then, haven't said that. You could press it down, but I'll just hold it in my thumb. There you go. Just gather. So you've had a good week, I hope. Or having a good week, but only halfway through it. And uh, we've had a bit of frost, we've had rain, uh, so we're having a, we've had wind, so, well, not us personally, the weather, so we've had a bit of a mixture, but uh, it's not as bad as it could be. Um, that looks pretty good to me, I'm going to try that. Now I'm going to dip that in water. Now I've heard good things about this. Mm. God, it's like, um, if you've never used anything like this mentally, it's a uh, Vicks Vapor Rub. Oh, I can feel it now. <laughs> and this, or oh, if you've got a cold, first thing in the morning, <sighs> Because it makes my eyes water. Um, 
when they're strong and I like that because I'm like I'm <laughs> so they're not sure don't worry it's um yeah it's not as strong yet I got a feeling it'll get stronger it's uh, the scent I can feel it just around the lip area so it's got a bit of kick to it um that's quite thick thick and creamy too thick for some people but we'll water it down as we go I'll empty that because I like that much water. Hot water on the razor. And off we go. Oh, I can fit this going into my eyes now. The f oh, yeah, lovely. Just leave it on your skin for a bit. <laughs> no pre shave today because I want to see what it's like. So off we go. Good choice of razor for this thick, creamy. Excellent blade. Whew. Forget how good the Astra is. I'm sure at one point I didn't. I wasn't keen on it, but it could be. You see what razor I was using it in, and the, I discussed this a bit in the well in many uh, shave videos and in the tutorial. Tutorial is not a tutorial. It's a just a advice video for beginners. And by the way, in case you're thinking, uh, oh, he thinks himself some didn't he, giving advice now. I'm not an expert, as I say in the video. It's just what I've learned myself and uh, just simple advice. Keep it simple. Going into my eyes now, clearing my nostrils. Oh, fantastic. I can see what all the fuss is about. I've had some good shaves uh, with fine, good product. Light touch again. Mid aggression razor this, for me. Really nice. Right, I'm going to go under the tap with a brush quickly, back to the puck, hold it, and then, oh that's nice, you watch it, this is going to feel like ice now, I love that, if you like menthol, oh, snake bite, <laughs> I'm looking forward to the, uh, I've got the aftershave as well. Likes its water, this soap. Back to the... Oh yeah, I can feel it now, cold. And it'll get colder on the third pass. Mmm. Oh, go on then, have a snifter. Breathe in. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Clears the old nostrils. I had um, a pheasant last Sunday. Oh, beautiful. Very nice it was. Really enjoyed it. Roasted it. Many ways you can cook it, but I roasted it. And um, I've made a lamb stew as well, and that, that was beautiful. Um, yesterday was the second day, because I made it on Monday. And um, across the growth now. And the second day you use it, you know, the you make it the first day and then leave it till the next day. Oh, that's superb the next day. And I've managed to put four portions in the freezer. So lovely. I make a big slow cooker. I've got a slow cooker and I make a big full pot of it. Potatoes, uh, for those that are interested. Potatoes, carrots, two onions turnip, I put peas in it, and uh, two lamb stock cubes, salt and pepper, and did the lamb, diced the lamb up, put it in the slow cooker, covered it with water, 
let it cook slowly on its own for about an hour then added all the veg, all the seasoning, water, lid on, left it for six hours. I'm opening a restaurant in London in the, uh, in the summer. And then next to the restaurant will be a shaving shop. Paul H. Shaving. <laughs> Imagine that. Would you come and see me? Yeah. It is strong now. It gets stronger the more you apply it. Nice. Good soap, good mental kick. Snake bite. Just to the puck. Sorry. A little bit. I know there's better ways of holding this in, but I don't want to, because I'm, when I finish the shave, uh, a lot of people ask me, what do you do with the soap? Um, I'll rinse that puck and I'll leave it dry naturally and I'll put it back in its box. Um, and someone talking about asking things, Someone, oh, that's lovely, I just added water, wetter, you, you wet heads, will love this. Oh, it's even colder now. Horse hair, doing superbly. This brush likes a bit of water as well. Um, yeah, somebody asked, how long can you keep shaving cream in a bowl? I don't, I don't keep shaving cream. Um, I know you could overnight, maybe to tomorrow shave and just add water to it or add a bit more cream or whatever. But I don't tend to keep shaving cream. Soaps, yeah, but not creams. I tend to put enough for the shave and if there's a bit spare, I rinse it out. I don't, uh, you know, I'm not like that. But um, the only answer is experiment. You know, try it. I don't, I've never really looked into it like that. Uh, right against the growth. Which is like that, each side. Can you see that? Again, no pressure. God, you feel that cooling effect and the menthol But, I'll say this, I have used a stronger one. This is strong, but I think after, I'll have to... I can't remember now which one it was, but I'll have to... I know, um, I think I've used a stronger, slightly stronger than this. Because I was like this in one video, I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> Good razor this. You having some good shaves? I sure do hope so. Good shaving soap. Good slickness. Good protection first of all during the shave and good slickness. And a nice mental kick. It is strong. If you like strong. Um, as I say, I have used a slightly stronger one. Good soap. Lasts on the skin that's nice slick this test
yeah, superb slickness. Lathers up very quickly. Uh, the brush is a bit thirsty, as a lot of, well, not a lot, of some of the badges can be. Um, you know, different brushes act differently. Oh, that's cold now. <laughs> that's beautiful. God. Uh, someone is saying in the comments, it's so hot where they live at the moment. I think it's in Australia. Uh, could be wrong. Um, they've been using things like Osage rub and you know all the menthols to try and cool down. Good idea. So this is the pickup pass. That's what I want there. Listen to that. Beautiful, lovely smooth shave. Just a little dot there. But I caught it. Right, rinse off. Keeping the face wet, I'm going to use the alum block. And get out of his holder. Under the tap. And uh, that's for cold, God, blimey. Bit of a tingle there. Nothing there. Oh, just a, oh, just a slight there. Yeah. Now that will have taken any slickness away. Lovely. Okay. Are we looking? Oh, you can't beat it. Oh, it's lovely. Superb soap. Good name. I think I've got one more fine um, soap to use out of the new range, so we say. Right, Thayer's Unscented. Because I want a, a fine snake bite aftershave, you see, that's why, Unscented. And uh, here we go. Fine snake bite. After shave, after shaving tonic. Oh, very posh. The original burn and quench. <laughs> Increase the vigor, bravery, and pluck. Content flammable. Ooh, hey, come on then. Let's see what you're made of. Let's see what you're made of. Whew. That's strong. Whoa, hey, Whew. that's cold. 
and fumey, vapory. Oh, that does burn. God, that does burn in a nice way. I mean, wow, that's strong. So uh, on top of the soap, good stuff. I'm not gonna brave anymore. Oh, it's an amazing feeling that. It's like a burn on the skin in a nice way. I don't mean like an irritation way. Um, fumes or vapor, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, cold. It's, it's, oh. <laughs> Fantastic, I like that. But it's, oh, it's nice. And put protection back. Ah, cool. I think this is the uh, sensitive, yeah. Not the extra sensitive. There you go. That's enough. Mm, nice combination. There's a slight scent on this aftershave balm, but not bad. Not too bad. That's lovely. nice very nice right so we'll have a recap we've used the Merca 39c uh, the slant long handle um, barber pole grip um, two-piece razor non-adjustable slight overhang on the blade I used a brand new Astra Platinum um, the superior platinum or Astra green lovely blade good good choice lovely blade that very smooth, sharp but smooth, um, very comfortable. We used the Everready 150 horsehair brush, it's been re knotted and sent to me this. Um, fantastic brush. And then we used the fine snake bite shaving soap, and I put that in the uh, Captain's Choice original shave bowl. Moved about a bit, my fault. But superb soap, lathered up quickly, I didn't bloom it, and the fumes from this aftershave, sorry, um, lathered up quickly, thick and creamy, protective during the shave, good slickness after the shave, after the soap's been removed by the razor, and um, the scent is superb, uh, menthol all the way. It's strong, and it gives you a bit of the old eye clearing and nostril clearing. Um, it's good, good, very good soap, very, very pleased with it. Uh, then I rinsed off with water, used the alum block, um, used the alum and the Thayer's uh, out of choice, no need to use the two, I just have, I like to use the two sometimes. Then rinsed off again, Thayer's unscented, the reason I used unscented because I wanted to see the strength and the scent of this, which is strong, superb. Lovely sensation, like a like a warming burn um, on the skin, but it was cold as well. And this menthol scent, beautiful as you can see. And my eyes are getting cleared, so <laughs> very nice. And then to put the moisture back, we used the Arco Sensitive, and um, that is it. Thank you so much for your time and patience. I hope you're having some fantastic shaves. I hope you have a good week uh, until the weekend. And um, thanks Mrs H for the flowers, and thank you for your time. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'll leave you to it. Have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Well, actually, that's the shave. I'll see you tomorrow for the um, tutorial, uh, for the, keep calling it tutorial, for the beginner's guide. Um, but don't feel you've got to watch it. See you Sunday. Take care.